Hello and welcome to chapter 5 in the Python 3 basics tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about the while wow loop in Python 3. There are basically two major loops within the Python programming language and that is the while wow loop and the for loop. The for loop we'll be covering in chapter 6 but for now we're going to be talking about the while wow loop. The while wow loop sounds basically does what it sounds like and that is it basically asks the question while something is the case do something. Now this is going to come bring up the conditional operators within Python uh, but luckily the conditional operators uh, make a whole lot of sense so uh, we should have no problem covering the two of them all at once. So with that let's get started. So the while loop is going to say while a condition is such do something and then it's going to continue running whatever block of code and by block of code I mean basically a chunk of code that is underneath something and tabbed over. I'll, sh I'll retell explain that when I show it. Basically it's going to run that block of code until the condition is no longer the case. So the easiest way to show that uh, would be a simple counter while wow loop. So we'll say condition as our variable equals one and then we're going to say while wow condition and we're going to say is less than 10 colon and this is what makes python kind of nice is generally uh, well basically all the python or all of the programming languages have what are called standards and most programming languages don't actually require anybody to have good standards and what i mean by standards is kind of like your codes organization so to speak so when we write this while loop we're, and we enter this colon when we hit the return or enter key we see that we're actually automatically tabbed over a little bit and now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna print condition and then we're gonna go ahead and do condition and then we're gonna do a slightly confusing operation but have no fear plus equals one and what plus equals does is it just adds one to the value. So basically it's just, it's kind of like condition plus equals one is basically the exact same as, for example, uh, condition equals condition plus one. That's basically what plus equal one will do for us. So I'm gonna get rid of this. And in fact, actually, I'll show real quickly, um, commenting in Python, so we can leave this here and we can do what is called a comment in Python and a single line comment, comment is um, designated with the pound sign so this number sign pound sign you can also do multi-line comments with a triple quote like that and in here multiple lines can go here like that um, so anyways, uh, a short uh, diversion there, but back to what we were doing in our while loop. And so we have condition plus equals one. Let me move this down just to make it pretty clear like that. And that is all the while loop does. So what we can do now is we can save and run this. And we get the output as being one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then after nine, it stops. So here we were basically asking while condition was less than 10, it prints the condition. So we saw while it was 1, that was okay. So it printed 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then at 9, that was the last time the condition was less than 10. So um, that worked out. And the conditional operator is the less than sign. Now we can go and do something more. And we could say, um, well, we could do something that like the following. So we could say condition equals um, five okay now we can ask the question wow condition is less than 15 print true so let's save and run that and we throw an error because this condition here is a string so we cannot do that now, if we get rid of this, and we run this, we're gonna find a lot of trues are being printed out to our console, 
and we want to stop that. So to stop it from doing that, if you find yourself in an infinite loop or you just want to stop your script for whatever reason, you could hit the X to X out, or you can do Control C and that will break the script. So this generated a infinite loop because five will always be less than 15. Now there is one more uh, way to do an infinite loop and a much cleaner way to do an infinite loop. Basically what is happening in this while statement is a while statement is going to either return a true or a false. So the easiest way to make an infinite loop would be while true do something. And we could say print infinite like that. So, and actually we'd never make it to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and comment out these two lines because this, would, this loop here would never end. We can save and run this. And we see we have an infinite amount of infinites. We'll break this. Maybe. Doesn't want to break. Took a little bit there. Sometimes there's a, a like a backup queue, so don't be too frustrated if it doesn't stop immediately. So that is it for chapter five in the wow loop. In the next chapter, what we're going to be covering is the for loop. So stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching.